Welcome friends, welcome to all in my channel Chemistry and History of Molecules. I am Don Moy. So today I, will, I shall discuss about the role of solvent in nucleophilic substitution reaction. Okay. Okay. Actually, uh, today I am going to first explain about the basic of this nucleophilic substitution of solvent interaction. Second, I will give you a table where you can understand the factor and uh, I shall explain about the energetics and third I shall give you a few examples to clear the idea. So let's start. So nucleophilic substitution, role of solvent. Okay. So if we check that the SN1 reaction it produces a carbocation. It is a charged intermediate. Okay. And in case of SN2, no classical carbocation is produced. It produced a trigonal bipyramidal intermediate where the nucleophile and leaving group both attach to a p orbitals, two lobes, and here this trigonal bipyramidal intermediate, these two species are attached. Here actually no classical cation or anion is formed. Actually, its overall over if nucleophile is charged, this is charged. So if it is neutral, then this is also neutral. So charge is dispersed. So main thing, this is charge concentrated. Okay, and here charge delocalized. So this is the main two difference, and second main difference that this formation of carbocation is the red determining state in SN1 reaction, but in case of this transition state is the RD state of this SN2 reaction. Okay, and here we are going to explain mainly solvent about polar protic, polar aprotic versus non-polar solvent. Okay, okay. So you see when charge is produced, when there is a chance of charge production in the RD state, so it is necessary to stabilize the charge. In case of polar protic. Polar protic and polar aprotic stabilize the charge. In for halide means negative charge separation, we need polar protic solvent. Means these hydrogen bonds. This hydrogen bond helps to stabilize the X minus. Okay. How these are for this polar aprotic so means polar protic aprotic both because for example if we take uh, polar protic solvent like methanol. Then we know this oxygen has a lone pair which could be donated to stabilize this thing. Okay, so they can stabilize. So if non-polar taken, so it is very difficult because non-polar don't have any any coordinating sites to stabilize. So chances of this may reduce. What I want to say because depend on the solvent choice, the reaction could be SN1 or SN2, and such phenomena is mainly observed in such cases like this secondary. Halides. I told primary is prone to SN2 and tertiary is prone to SN1, but this thing depends on solvent, it could be SN1, it could be SN2, both. Okay, fine. So, in case of uh, this halide, it is observed that this charge is delocalized on this. So, this non polar solvent, they do not have any problems. Secondly, here the nucleophile is involved in the RD. Nucleophile means electron rich species. This nucleophile is electron rich species. So, polar aprotic solvents can also form hydrogen bond with these nucleophiles. And by the formation of hydrogen bond, the electron density on this nucleophile will reduce, somewhat reduce. So, it will be stabilized more. So, reaction will be retarded or slow down in presence of polar solvent. But if we take non polar solvent, then these anions. Ah, non-polar solvent are free, okay. So, in this way, it is expected reaction will happen. But there is a huge role of this polar aprotic solvent in SN2. So, I shall explain this factor in a tabular form. So, I suggest you please look at the table. It will be helpful for understanding you the effect of the polar solvents or non-polar solvent. If you can see, for example, SN2 first. You see, in SN2 reaction, this nucleophile first option, four options are given. Nucleophile is negative charge, the alkylamide is neutral. And what happens here? That in transition state, both nucleophile and leaving group both are in negative, uh, negative charge. Okay. And rate decreases. Why? Because the presence of 
means this is a polar pro the, in this is a polar protein pp polar protein salt what happens this nucleophile this is also solvated during the reaction okay so that's why increasing polarity this slows down because the new this is reactor means this rx plus nu so this nu energy decreases so overall energy of activation decreases in energy of activation increases rate of reaction decreases secondly when the nucleophile is neutral what happens here no charge factor this and in transition state this charge is also again delocalized so effect of polarity if we increase this reaction rate increases why because new, this this part here charge is delocalized so it is little bit decreases for a very small amount but little decreases so overall energy of activation decreases consequently this rate is accelerated second point if the nucleophile is negative this okay let me give you one example because you can consider this is iodide this is simple alkyl halide this nucleophile is neutral and this is for example you can say thiol this in this way acceleration of thiol's nucleophilic attack this is this is you can consider as a alkyl halide means chloride bromide and mainly you can say chloride plus silver salt attached then the x became positive due to the attachment of silver and here the nucleophile is negative for example means you can consider this cyanide one this will help you so after when it is positive then rate becomes slow why because because this nucleophile's energy is decreased due to the solvation first point second point the reactant is also solvated so both reactant and nucleophile energy reduced so overall energy of activation increased so that's why reaction becomes slow fine second point when the nucleophilic nucleophile is neutral but this is cationic then also it will be slow because previously there are two factor alkyl halide as well as nucleophile both were solvated right now this also solvated so polarity will solvate will stabilize the charge in this way reactant will be stabilized so the energy of activation will be slow down means we in uh, energy of activation will be have it will slow down so in this way reaction is slow second point let's come. for example here you can consider this both is positive negative so cyanide attack from carbon center and here from nitrogen center you can consider this in this way as an example in case of sn1 what happened it produces carbocation so stability of carbocation is the primary factor that is involved in the rate determining step so if the alkyl halide is neutral if the alkyl halide actually in sn1 nucleophile is not involved in the rt step that's why i have mentioned here so this both stabilized reaction accelerates how because after this carbocation carbonyl produces in polar solvent this cation anion stabilized reaction faster but if initially the reactant is charged what happened if the reaction is initially charged then it will be stabilized so if it stabilizes then it goes around down one unit so overall energy of activation enhances so this is reaction coordinate and this is for sn1 okay and this is sn2 so here increases previously it was a neutral so previous example one this was the energy of activation but in case of this this is energy of activation increases corresponding rate slows down okay okay so this are the explanation and in this case these are the polar protic salt sorry this is the polar solvent aprotic means this oxygen has another thing we know that this dnso can withdraw this to produce another canonical form that is is o minus this even dnf can have a resonance form to have a negative charge density on the oxygen fine this is polar as well as protic solvent methanol ethanol so they can donate their electron as well as they can solvate the anions also by this hydrogen bonding and this are the neutral actually what happens if you see for example if you take sodium hydride sorry sodium iodide or potassium iodide in dmso as a solvent and do the reaction what happens this sodium plus is stabilized by this dmso molecule how this is the sodium plus this is 
this four DNSO molecule coordinates four DNSO molecule coordinates to the sodium means even uh, actually not for it it can coordinate six molecule in an octahedral fashion so this in this way it coordinates above and below and stabilizes this solvent if and so right now the cation is solvated stabilized so anion is free so it will react very faster okay so anion is free means it will react very faster it accelerates but if this both anion is also stabilized using this for example instead of that dnso if you use methanol then sodium will be stabilized and iodide will iodide is so, so this anion will be charged so reactivity will automatically decrease so in this way so another factor is there for example if we if we take different halides anion and check their reactivity Okay, in methanol, in polar protic versus polar aprotic, if we check, we can see that in methanol, means polar protic solvent, iodide is more reactive than bromide this chloride. Why? Because size of chloride is smaller. So charge density over chloride is more. So proton, we need, we know that this is a delta positive. So it can react with this is a hard center. So if this is harder. So it can react with this more efficiently. Consequently, the chloride charge, chloride will be engaged with the interaction of many sol this uh, solvent molecules to so hydrogen bonding. That's why its rate will be rate will be slower compared to iodide, which is more bigger in size, charge density is low, solvation is less. So at the, in that condition, it can react with the electrophilic center very easily. Okay, this is the fact. But if we change the condition, both are actually polar. This is protic and this is aprotic. So if we check DMSO, so DMSO will solvate only the cationic part like this. So DMSO solvate cationic part. What happens? Then the charge density will be the guiding factor because we know that if charge density is more, the reactivity will be more. So here the order is chloride, bromide rather than iodide. So this is the factor and this is the real proof of this explanation. So let's learn about few examples. Okay, let's discuss these two examples. For this example, actually you can see this is also a reaction between triethylamine and ethyl iodide. This attacks in a SN2 fashion, iodide leaves to produce tetraethyl ammonium iodide cation. Okay. And this reaction was carried out in benzene as well as ethanol and it is it is also that this reaction is more facile in case of benzene okay compared to ethanol why because ethanol has a hydrogen bonding center so this and what happens this triethylamine this nitrogen can form hydrogen bond with this ethanol so the rate of reaction will be faster in benzene than less in this. Benzene is polar, but this is polar protic. This polar protic means this solvates the nucleophile. So energy of nucleophile decreases, corresponding energy of activation increases, rate of reaction slows down. Another example, this is a reaction between sodium azide and methyl iodide. It's a purely SN2 reaction. And we know azide is a very good nucleophile because this noodle shaped keep please keep this factor in mind this azide this azide is a one noodle shaped noodle shape the two small size nucleophile and second third it's a statistical factor both side of nucleophilic both sides nucleophilic so this factor makes the azide is a very good nucleophilic reagent for SN2 reaction. So see, in this SN2 reaction, here is product is the only change in concentration of ch change in the solvent. That is one is methanol polar protic versus polar aprotic. And the change the rate. In first case, if we check relative rate is 1, then the second one is 10 to the power 4 order, 4 into 10 to the power 4 order, extremely higher. Why? Because this sodium anion is solvated using this DMF because DMF has a resonance this so sodium ion solvated but azide not solvated here but in case of methanol both sodium and both azide so reactance both energy decreases 
so in both reactants energy decreases energy of activation increases this is slower compared to that here only cation is stabilized and the anion is free and more active beer anion or beer nucleophile so that attacks this methyl group and this iodine left and it's a tremendous behind it okay so this is the end of this discussion so what we have learned today about the role of solvent and its role is polar protic polar apoptotic as well as non polar and stabilization of the transition state so this is the end of the video so if you like my video please give a like and share this video among your friends such that many people could be benefited and please subscribe my channel chemistry and mystery of molecule and press that bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload so see you in my next video